And good morning, Hancock Field, and welcome to the first UTA of the new year. Yes, happy 2015, everybody. I'm Airman First Class Sarah Schreiber. And I'm Master Sergeant Eric Miller, and we begin this morning with a Department of Defense year in review. This special report highlights the DOD's most critical issues. As the United States military responded to such events, they also continued to train and conduct operations. Number one, the fight against ISIL. The United States provided humanitarian aid to thousands of civilians fleeing from the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant, a terrorist group known as ISIL. The effort to degrade and destroy ISIL continues with Operation Inherent Resolve. Number two, the Asia-Pacific rebalance. The United States demonstrated its continued commitment to the Asia-Pacific region, where the Defense Department has deployed more than 350,000 military members. They're buying weapons, and they're buying 21st century weapons. Uh, they are not the, the same weapons uh, systems that we dealt with 30 years ago. They are, they're, they're in this age. Number three, drawdown in Afghanistan. U.S. and NATO leaders concluded their combat mission in Afghanistan at the end of 2014, decreasing U.S. military members to no more than 10,800. Number four, Operation Atlantic Resolve. The United States continued to demonstrate its commitment to NATO allies and partner nations in Europe by participating in multinational training exercises throughout the year. Number five, DOD Ebola response. With a deadly outbreak of the Ebola virus in West Africa, the U.S. mobilized to help stop the spread of the disease. And the 174th had another busy year, responding to our nation's call overseas and here in the state of New York. Over the summer, the 174th performed its first official taxi of the MQ-9 Reaper on Hancock Field, hosted numerous events and distinguished visitors, continued our ongoing operations at Fort Drum's Wheeler Sack Army Airfield forward operating location and Range 48 tackled winter storms around Hancock Field, and airmen and equipment provided support to the snow-clogged Buffalo area during Operation Lake Effect. The MQ-9 taxied on Syracuse Hancock International Airport runway, and 174th members volunteered in the community throughout the year. A busy year and uh, another one ahead of us in 2015. Some changes in the way we are paid take effect in 2015 as BAH, BAH rates will no longer include added dollars for renter's insurance. As of January 1st, uh, they implemented the new BAH rates based on your rank. Um, if you were on orders in 2015 carrying forward to 2014 carrying forward to 2015, you'll maintain at the higher rate. If for any reason you have a break, a PCS, a dependency change, demotion or promotion, your rate will be changed to the new rate. Military veterans in central New York will have access to free legal help through a new year-round legal veterans clinic at Syracuse University's College of Law. It's a free service open Monday through Friday. The United States Air Force has confirmed it will pull out of three United Kingdom air bases. U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said Americans will leave Royal Air Force Base Mildenhall, Elkenberry, and Molesworth. A suspicious package exercise is scheduled for this Sunday of the UTA. The objectives for the exercise are to ensure safety, evaluate base command, control and communication, determine situational awareness, and evaluate shelter in place. Base personnel must be able to Know the correct procedures for reporting a suspicious package, suspicious activity, or an event such as an active shooter incident. Know how to react to a shelter-in-place, lockdown order, or base-wide announcement. Know the location of their workplace, shelter-in-place room, and what to do when you occupy a shelter. A checklist is in each shelter room that can be reviewed in preparation for this exercise and if an actual event occurs. If you don't know the location of the shelter in your work area, contact your supervisor or building manager. And today, Saturday, January 10th at 1000, there is a Hometown Heroes Ceremony. And that's your January 2015 UTA update. Have a fantastic drill, everybody.